My name's Braden. I'm a firefighter, EMT. I was always looking for a job that didn't feel like you were going to work. Braden was just an absolute beast in the fire department. I mean, I've literally seen him rip doors with his bare hands right off houses. Get to play with all kind of cool toys and get to help people at the same time. In the middle of the night, I got a phone call. Braden came in on the ambulance and I was like, dude, what's up? I had crashed my mountain bike into a tree, so it had bruised my palm, punctured it. Braden was in a coma. He was on a respirator. He was tubed. Thinking that I may lose him, it was devastating. I lost my hand to necrotizing fasciitis. I guess at that time I had, I believe it was a 30% chance of survival. His right hand did not survive. A rare infection nearly kills a local firefighter. There's a lot of risk of disease for firefighting. You're exposed to MRSA everywhere. Braden had been infected with a potentially deadly flesh-eating bacteria, and now he was faced with a life-changing decision. They set him up with a company that would make a prosthetic for him. It didn't add any benefit as far as Braden felt to his lifestyle. The perfect end for me would be something that's mechanical, sturdy, robust, it's not gonna break, I don't have to worry about it. It's something that'll do what I needed to do. The hand is probably the most fantastic, manipulative tool that has evolved through human evolution. Many people are focused on the fine movements of the hand, but no one has really thought that much about how to pick up something that weighs over 50 pounds. The Autodesk office is staffed with developers who focus on software for the building industry. We wanted to have a space for people to actually work. We've opened it to the public to give free access, the hope being that there would be room to take risks and sort of experiment in these fields. Advances have been made with the actual mechatronics, so the artificial technology of moving devices, but it still remains challenging connecting those devices to the human body. One of my missions, and it always has been since I've been hurt, is to try to inspire other people that have been through similar things or under any amount of physical adversity for that matter, more specifically towards folks who lose limbs. The resources that Braden had, you know, you're gonna engineer all the stuff and you're gonna make it, and he did it. Braden wants to be able to have his old lifestyle back as much as possible. That's what's driving him. My dad and I are planning on riding motorcycles across the country with the bike device that we've been working on for left-handed use. So it's gonna be left-hand throttle, left-hand clutch, left-hand front brake. Test my limits, test the limits of, of this project. We can do this, the fact that it's at our fingertips. I just see the potential of what I could do if I had something that was reliable and dependable, that I had faith in.